All right, we are here with Lori Heisler from the Leadership Influence, and we're going to talk about the three biggest challenges leaders face and how to overcome them. Thanks, Lori, for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so what are some of the challenges as as, that we face as leaders? Well, I would say the three challenges I'm going to share today all come down to a bigger challenge. There's an underlying challenge as to why we struggle with these three things. But okay. when it comes to leading a team, one of the biggest challenges that leaders struggle with is hiring and retaining uh, the right people. Yes. And the way that we can accomplish this, one, is to really know ourselves and what it is that we're looking for. That's so huge. Um, and what our values are. Mm -hmm. And the biggest mistake I see people make with this, especially in hiring, is they make it all about them and not about the person that they're bringing on. Oh, so what do you mean by that? I feel like that's loaded and I feel something from that, <laughs> but I want to know what that means yeah. to you. So when you're working, it's a mutual agreement. Uh -huh. And uh, I think we all know that we want fulfillment in the work that we do. And when we make hiring all about us, we forget the most important person, which is the person that we're bringing on to the team. Mm -hmm. And if we don't get hiring right, we'll definitely have the next two challenges that I'm going to talk about. <laughs> Good. So get your hiring right get, first. Get your hiring right and really model what it is that you're saying that you're looking for. Uh -huh. So one quick example is I see people hiring all the time and they're looking for, for someone who's innovative, uh -huh. but they're putting an ad on um, Indeed that's asking for a Normal. resume and cover letter. Okay. With really boring language, vocabulary no one understands, and or regimented rules uh -huh. that you can expect. And no one wants to work for an environment, in an environment yes. like that. So basically you're saying, I'm looking for an innovative person, but I'm not innovative. Right, like if you want to be innovative <laughs> in your hiring practices, because that's what you want, ask for a video, ask yeah. for them to come in and do something experiential, do something different yes. than what everyone else is doing. So you need to be able to um, attract what you're looking for. So attract innovation, don't ask for innovation. Yes, by modeling it. Yes, exactly. beautiful. Yeah. And then the second thing I see uh, leaders really struggle with is actually getting results from the people that they've hired. Yes. <laughs> and again, it's because leaders, and this is kind of the underlying theme, we make it all about us mm -hmm. instead of about them. And if you want to get results from the people that you lead, you have to know what drives them, you have to know what motivates them, and you have to know what keeps them there. Yeah. So um, we could go into a lot of other reasons why you might not be seeing results from the people that you lead, but ultimately it starts with hiring mm -hmm. and it starts with really knowing why they're there to begin with. Yeah, how many times have we um, applied for a job, gotten, well, it's happened to me, applied for a job, gotten the interview and said, I'm here to talk about this and this and this, I can absolutely do this, and they say, well, that's not what I'm looking for. And I am quoting back everything that I read in that job <laughs> ad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So transparency is also yes. definitely something we could talk about. There's as a well. disconnect there sometimes. There is. And, you know, one of the things that happens as to why people don't uh, see the results from they won't. From, from their team that they are looking for is because they may have done all of those things right, mm -hmm. but then they may also lack the confidence to engage in a difficult conversation, mm, right? And I see this all the time, not just with leaders who lead teams, but, but women especially, mm -hmm. who may want to have a conversation with their boss because they wanna have that pay raise conversation. Yeah. Um, and they're worried about how that's going to go. They're not quite sure how to approach it. Yes. Um, and so the third challenge that I see leaders face uh -huh. is, engaging in difficult conversations. Yes. Whether that's offering authentic, necessary feedback, again, for the employee's growth, right? For mm -hmm. their benefit as well as the benefit of the people around them, or whether it's for um, your own growth because you want feedback from you, the, the people from who are employees. leading you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, really it all comes down to the fact that leadership is not about me, it's, it's about the people that I serve. And okay. it's, it's not about us, it's about leading the people that we've brought on that are in our community and the people that have that, that are there to support us. Yeah, so how do we switch that around? It sounds like you're talking about empathy, you know, so how do we Absolutely. turn that around, stop living from our own viewpoint and start being able to see from the other person? I love that you brought up empathy because I would say, um, along with making it about the other people or making it about us and not about who we're really there to serve, um, we have to do the inner work. Mm -hmm. We always have to do the inner work and this is where we fall short is we, we avoid those conversations 
because we don't know how they're going to make us feel. Yes. Right? It's scary, yes. even as the leader. Yes, for sure. And so you need to work on that confidence, um, work on putting out and being comfortable with saying what it is that you need, mm -hmm. and work through those inner demons so that when you are faced with those challenges, uh, you're ready to take them on. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Lori, for sharing those amazing tips. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. Nice. <laughs>